California has a rich history of citrus, starting back to when the Spanish were building the missions along the coast. But it wasn't until the 1870s when Miss Tibbetts would request to have a unique seedless type of orange that she then planted here in beautiful Riverside that would change the trajectory of the citrus king and queen of our state. Join me today as we learn about not just California citrus, but the oldest surviving seedless citrus in California. So our story starts here. We're on the corner of Arlington and Magnolia in Riverside, California. Now, Eliza Tibbetts was a suffragette and a female advocate uh, in Washington, D.C. in the early 1800s. Her and her husband moved to Riverside in 1870, and she had some friends that were associated with the United States Department of Agriculture. So she reached out to them asking for some trees. She wanted some citrus that could be grown here in Riverside. And very fortunately, the United States Department of Agriculture had just really become acquainted to a new type of citrus that was found at a monastery down in Brazil. It's a seedless variety of a Brazilian or, uh, orange, which we now know as being the navel orange, uh, getting its name because it is a seedless orange that is a juice orange, so it's very large, but where the, the flower on the bud on the bottom is, it looks like a belly button. So that's where it got its name as a navel orange. Anyway, um, so they sent her three branches to be grown here in Riverside. They also sent some to Florida. The ones in Florida froze immediately and did not survive. So Eliza Tibbetts sent a letter in 1870. It took a couple years, 1873, she gets these three plants that she plants at her homestead right here in Riverside. The tree behind me is the only surviving tree of those three. Now, why is this important? Because this is the only navel orange that exists of its age, being planted in 1873. And since it, is a, since it is a seedless orange, which means that you cannot grow plants off seeds, Every navel orange grown in California and most of the U.S. can be traced back to this tree. So this is the queen of citrus. It is the only known and of its age oldest navel orange citrus that exists. And it's here in Riverside. Now you'll notice that it's covered in a tarp. It was covered in a tarp in about uh, 2020 because there's a really weird insect uh, that has been found in this area that it has a, a bacteria that will kill uh, citrus trees. So they're covering it to protect it because it is protected by the state because it is a huge piece of cultural importance. Uh, a lot of institutions still use this tree today because it still produces oranges as we'll see and they'll use these oranges to study and to then better preserve the growth of this tree here. As mentioned before, Eliza Tibbetts was sent three saplings. Though, so out of the three, the first one was crushed by a cow. Moo. The second one was dug up by Teddy Roosevelt and moved just a couple miles away to the Mission Inn, which then leaves this one, because the one in Mission Inn died in 1922, it froze. So again, this is the only surviving, the oldest, and truly a piece of California gold. So the next time you're enjoying one of those fresh, seedless California navel oranges, just remember and give a little thanks to Miss Tibbetts and our friend here, the Queen of Citrus here in Riverside, California. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. It is the Queen of Citrus. Oh, I was doing with that. See, I was good to that point. Ah, it's gonna be a rough day.